Welcome to the Supporting Friends and Family video series developed by Southern Valley Alliance and Women's Advocates. If you're watching this, you're probably searching for ways to be helpful and supportive to a loved one who is in a potentially harmful relationship. This video is designed to give friends and family practical tools for supporting a loved one who has left an abusive relationship. Before we begin, it's important to talk about agency, the ability of one person to make their own choices. Abuse robs victim survivors of their decision-making and puts them in a 24-7 pattern of control. As you're watching this video, be thinking about what you can do to restore or reaffirm your loved one's agency. Victim survivors of domestic abuse are at increased risk of experiencing depression, anxiety, PTSD, and suicidal behavior, as well as higher risk for developing addictions. It is important for us to understand that experiencing relationship abuse is traumatic. Trauma is the effect of an experience or event that overwhelms our sense of safety, often to the point where the world, the future, or other people are no longer seen as positive or safe. Trauma responses are normal responses to abnormal situations, and our body and brain's response to trauma can be broken down into three different categories. Hyperarousal, which is our body's physical response and change to respond to perceived danger. This can look like a victim survivor being constantly alert or jumpy. The next is intrusion. This is the experience of the traumatic event intruding their life after the traumatic event is over. Examples of intrusion include unexpected memories or feelings of loss of control. The last is constriction. Constriction is our brain's response to keep us safe after experiencing a traumatic event. This can look like avoiding anything related to the abuse or isolating oneself from support systems. Every person responds to trauma in a different way. Healing after experiencing abuse is not impossible, but it does take time. Your loved one may need more support with this than you can provide. Be patient with your loved one, practice empathetic listening, and provide them with a sense of safety to move forward. Just because your loved one has left an abusive relationship doesn't mean that the healing process is over. Those who experience the trauma of an abusive relationship may need time to grieve that relationship or what they had hoped the relationship could have been. When walking this journey with a loved one, it may be useful to think of ways you might support someone who is grieving a death. Approaching them in this way respects the victim survivor's positive memories of their relationship. It is also important to normalize what they're feeling. Let them know it's okay to miss their partner. Make sure to reinforce that the abuse was not their fault and abuse is never okay. Tips to help ease the transition could include being available to talk, listen and support their decision, don't speak negatively about the abusive partner, help them get back on their feet, encourage self-care for them and for you, break isolation patterns by planning fun activities, research and offer options for additional support, like a domestic abuse support group, specialized domestic abuse or survivor counseling, or a trauma therapist. The more you are able to take on to support them in their journey, the more they will be able to focus on their growth. We hope that watching this video has given you some sense of the challenges your loved one is facing right now. But we know that being a supportive person has its own challenges too. As you're supporting and affirming your loved one, what are you doing to take care of yourself? Try to do one small kind thing for yourself every day and ask others for help when you're feeling overwhelmed. You deserve care 